What's up guys, and today we got Kyler Murray, 73 overall. This is the rookie premier version, but it's the same thing as the regular core elite version. 82 speed, 80 throw power, but you know, 66 throw short, 62 mids, 66 deep, 72 on the run. Nothing really pretty about this card except the speed. That's about it. I mean, even his juke and spin you see right there, 71, 65, nothing to uh, smile about. Neither is his uh, carry rating. But he is a mobile quarterback, 82 speed, the second fastest quarterback in the game behind Lamar Jackson. Now, if you got the rookie premier card like I did, he's, he's a free card. You know, that's great. You don't got to pay a thing. And, of course, it will be upgraded throughout the year. Now, I did mention in my Patrick Mahomes uh, video that short throw is going to show its ugly face this year. Because in almost every single Madden before, even if there's short throw accuracy was uh, was like really bad, it didn't really show on the field. But I'm telling you now, Madden 20, if it's a bad short throw rating, it's going to show itself. But the uh, short throw overall, I'll give it like a B-. minus. The most important stat though, in my opinion of course, the mid throw, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I would still give this like a B flat, you know. Um, I didn't see as many bad throws here. I definitely saw more bad short throws, which is odd considering that, you know, his uh, short throw rating is a little bit better than his mid throw. But for, for whatever reason, he was throwing decent mid throws. I, I, I mean, look at that right there. That right there was a perfect time in the back of the end zone. However, the lowest grade will be the deep throw. I would only give this like a C minus because there were plenty of times where my receivers were wide open down the field and he I, he don't he just completely either overthrew it or it was nowhere close. And in fact, for example, if my receiver is going down the middle of the field, he would throw it and that ball will go far right, like way, way right. And it would be intercepted by a safety that was not even anywhere near the play. And as you see right here, this is what I'm talking about, man. The short throw. No pressure in his face. No nothing. Just absolutely terrible throws. And it's stuff like that that is so, you know, aggravating. You know, nothing worse than when you're in a clutch game. You know, it's the last drive. you got to get a touchdown. And you see your receiver get open for like a five-yard slant. That could easily turn into like a 20-yard gain because there's no one near him. And what do you know? A, a terrible pass. But of course, the 82 speed, you know, the scrambling ability, that's what sells the card. It's the only redeeming part about this card. And you see right there, that's exactly why you should be sliding. Don't juke, spin, it's not worth it. Just take what you can get and slide or go out of bounds. He is right now, of course, faster than most linebackers and defensive ends in the game. So right now, he can definitely outrun most defensive players and get big chunks of yards, as you can see right here. But as the game goes on and faster linebackers and defensive events come out, this card would pretty much become irrelevant, of course, until his cards come out, you know, and, and the upgrades and whatnot. But anyways, right now, if you're on a budget team and you want a mobile quarterback, I could definitely suggest Murray. But, you know, buyers beware. Be prepared for him to um, overthrow and completely misthrow a lot of open receivers. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. An overall grade on... This particular Kyler Murray, the 73 overall rookie version, I mean, uh, C plus. I mean, C plus is the best way to go. It's just because I feel like if you play five clutch games in a row, he'll he'll be most likely he'll be the reason that you lose at least three of them, and that's I can firmly say that. Which is why I, I immediately once this video is being done uploaded, I will be upgrading to a better quarterback who is a bit more trustworthy. I understand his speed, but that's really about it. So, anyways, guys. Let's go wrap this up. My next review, uh, I'm not sure yet. But let me know in the comments, guys, who you want to see me review, and I'll get to it. I'll see you boys then. Peace.